God gave warnings through Noah. God gave warnings through Noah to repent. God has called for repentance. God has called to trust in the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. It rained. It poured. It was too late. One day it'd be too late. You don't know when your will die. After that is judgment. And if you do not have an advocate named Jesus Christ, you shall perish. You shall go to the lake of fire. God is called for repentance. God is angry with the wicked every day. God wished that none perish, but all come to repentance. There is no way to heaven. Jesus said, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. He is you. God has called for repentance. The Bible clearly states the way to sin is death. Are we lying? Are we stealing? Are we fornicating? If you don't know what that means, that's sex before marriage. Sodomy, homosexual. The Bible is very clear what God's word says. No one takes your Not what I say. Come on. Let's it's go. God's holy go. word. Hey, let's go. You got some place to go get there, Blake. I appreciate it. God is called for repentance. God is warning you. That's his love. He's warning you to repent. Lying. Stealing. Even cheating on exams. Drug usage. Guys, pay attention to officers. But most important, pay attention to Jesus Christ. He came down. He shed his innocent blood so that you can have life. You don't have to die in your sin and that's in the lake of fire. Repent. He's calling you to repent and trust in Jesus Christ, the Redeemer. The advocate, the Messiah, the Christ. He can give you life eternally. If you repent and trust in Jesus Christ. Matthew 7, 1, please. Read that one. We'll talk to some other guys. I'll preach it, sir. I'm sure you have a Bible. God is called for repentance. You do not have to die in your sins. God will even warn the people. The days of Noah. It started to rain, right? Are you serious? It was a little too late to get on the ark. God closed the ark. The people died in their sin. But you can enter the ark before it closes. God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. He only pulled a few out. There was only a few that were righteous in his eyes. God is called for repentance. Like I said, the way to sin is death. God demonstrated his love towards you. Why you are yet a sinner. Christ died for you. You need to repent. You need to trust in Jesus Christ. There is no other way to heaven. John 14, 6 says, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus is, the, Jesus is the only way. You don't have to die in your sins. You don't have to perish. You don't have to go to the lake of fire. You can know you have salvation through the blood of Jesus Christ. You cannot get to heaven through Muhammad, the Pope. You can't get through Mary. You can't get to heaven on your own works. Our own works are like filthy rags. Isaiah 60, 4, 6. Repent. Come to Jesus Christ. Good job. You don't have to die in your sins. Turn. Turn and burn. 
Stop turning right to left. Go straight. Go toward Jesus Christ. You don't have to die in your sins. How many of you guys got condoms in your pocket? Wanting to have sex before marriage. How many of you guys just look at porno magazines? That's adultery in your heart. How many of you guys are angry at your brother and your sister? That's hatred in your heart. Murder, Jesus said. God can change you. God can take the sore out of your heart and give you a new heart. Take the stony heart out and give you a heart of flesh. Come to the only Redeemer. Come to Jesus Christ. Turn. You must be born again. Be a new creation in Christ. You don't have to die in your sins. You don't have to perish. God can change your heart and give you a new heart. He can change your legends. God can give me Jesus. You need Jesus to get to heaven. Give me Jesus. Repent. Yes. They be repent. The Bible said there will be mockers in the last day. Mockers. Turn. What are homosexuals do to you? What do homosexuals do to you? I used to be one. God changed my heart. Praise God. He freed me of that sin. Let's go. Let's go. God don't want you to perish. He told you to repent. It's just an only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. Stop running from God. Stop living the way you were, or have been, or still are. Trust in Christ. Don't trust in yourself. Don't trust in your neighbor. Trust in Jesus Christ. Who laid his life down for you. You can have life eternally through him. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but through Jesus Christ. Only through Christ Jesus. He's calling for repentance, guys. You guys know what sin is? Lying? Are we lying on our chest ever? Stealing? Lustful thoughts? Sex before marriage? Which is for a vacation? Adultery? I mean, you guys look at porno magazines. I do. Yeah, go for it. That's adultery in your heart. How many people are smoking pot? No, I don't. Doing drugs. God is called repentance. God can forgive for any sin. Any sin. He can forgive if you trust in Jesus Christ. And truly repent. Repent means turn. Have a change of mind. Don't live in your sin and die in it. The way to sin is death. Trust in only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. Don't trust in yourself. Trust in Christ. It's going to happen. Let's go. You got a place to go. Be there. Even the board should be here. Hell tonight. Hell yeah. There ain't going to be no party in hell, sir. You're going to be weeping. Jeez. Outer darkness. Does that sound like fun? Or do you want to know you have salvation in Christ Jesus? And know where you're going when you die. You do not have to die in your sin. You do not have to perish. There's a way out. And His name is Jesus Christ. No other way out. Only other way is hell. But that could be all avoided. If you trust in Christ Jesus. Stop living for the world. Stop living for your life. Start living for Christ. Trust in Jesus Christ and let Him change you. Start living holy and righteous lives. Some people might say they're Christians even. They're still sinning. God is calling you to stop the backsliding. Trust in Christ. Live holy, righteous living.
Trust in Christ. Christ Jesus. Repent. God is warning you. If you have a Bible, pick it up and read it. 